Well, June is Pride Month and we're celebrating our community right here on Up With Creme. We've invited a local organization on Up With Creme to talk about a special documentary they are releasing this month. Yeah, it's called A Call to Love. It is, it's a collection of stories highlighting the effect religion has on some members of the LGBTQ plus community. And the creators of this two hour documentary say it will start a conversation about unconditional love and support. So here's a sneak peek. I didn't want to be different because I would think I was scared of what other people would say. When a person is told by another human being that who they are is unworthy, is flawed, you are piercing their heart with toxic shame that will oppress that person. If we say we're loving, we have to ask ourselves, what does that look like? It's not shutting the door. It's certainly not saying that they can't serve, that they're not welcome. That's not love. My first round A Call to Love will be available this Friday. It includes conversations with local pastors, a psychologist, and other community members. So this morning we're talking with the organization behind the documentary. Jennifer Burroughs, she's the president of the group called Wonderfully Made. She's joining us this morning. Good morning, Jennifer. I want to jump right in. Tell us about why your team wanted to create this documentary. Well, um... I think that for, for those of us that have been a part of this documentary, um, we've obviously had personal experience that has really shaped our um, outlook. We've been impacted by these faith theologies. And so um, we've all been on a journey and we felt it was just really important to highlight these stories and share them with the community. I think a lot of times people um, are operating from a place of, of good faith and what they think is right and good that they've been taught by their church but in all reality i don't think people really understand the harm of these theologies and it's definitely um a christian perspective but the impact of these damaging theologies i think don't just play out on people that have been part of the church but they just they make their way into the lives of people um, their community and their families on just a lot of different levels and what do you think people will take away from seeing this documentary, A Call to Love? Well, our hope is that they will take away the, the pain um, and how it just has life altering effects on people and their families. So it's definitely stories of, of, I would say, a lot of religious trauma, but there's also a message of love and hope. And there are people that share their journeys and how they've, uh, been able to, I guess, embark on that journey of really becoming an ally for the LGBTQ plus community, because at the end of the day, rules and regulations, all those things, they should be to protect people. And if there are religious rules and certain theologies that are um, damaging, which they have been, um, we see families that are torn apart. There are a lot of parents that feel obligated to take their children out of their home uh, when they come out to them. Um, and then you also have mental health, suicide. There's just so much damage that's happened from these historic faith traditions. So that's what we're hoping to highlight, to really put the human, the person back into the story instead of it just being a sterile, this is what my church teaches me to do. And Jenner, how can people watch this? This is the most important question because we want to get these in front of the eyes of people that really need to see it. So we are, the documentary, you can sign up for it on Eventbrite. You can also go to our website at wonderfullymadenw.com. And we do have our events page on there. So you can also find the link to register as well as our, our trailers also there for people to watch. They can get a little, little taste of what the documentary is about. Jennifer, thank you so much for taking the time to join us this morning. And we'll have more information about how you can watch on our website. We're going to take a quick break. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.